Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, June 3rd, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. Tropical Storm Cristobal, we will be talking about it, but the big story, severe weather threat for 83 million from the Midwest to the Northeast, damaging winds possible all day. Here's your severe threat through tonight. Biggest threat, Philly and West, through the Poconos. Keep calm. It's boom time. Now, huge hail, winds, and tornado reports rake Minnesota Tuesday night. Some damage reports as severe storms focus south of the Twin Cities. Take a look at those storm cells, supercells exploding on the GO-16. Now, tornado and large hail hits Minnesota as a result of those. At least one tornado moved through west, central, and southern Minnesota, but there are no reports of injuries or widespread damage, according to the National Weather Service. The tornado was reported near Garden City around 5 p.m. Tuesday. The Weather Service issued a tornado warning for communities south of Mankato and Awatana. Large tree branches were down near Pemberton. A large tree brought the road in Richland, so on and so forth. And hail. There was plenty of it. Now, today... Philly, severe storm prompts tornado warnings, and a derecho kills at least three in the suburbs. Not only that, it cuts power to more than a half a million people across the mid-Atlantic. At least three people are dead, and more than a half a million electric customers were left in the dark with a rare derecho that tore through eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey on Wednesday. The northern plains, upper Midwest, and eastern Great Lakes were put on alert Tuesday night when the thunderstorms erupted. Then the threat shifted east to the mid-Atlantic. And let, there is a picture of that derecho approaching Medford, New Jersey on Wednesday evening. Amazing. Now, this derecho resulted in all, over a half a million power outages. If you don't know what a derecho is, it is a... Here, let's come over here to the definition for y'all. It's a storm. Uh, the official... Uh, where is it? <laughs> okay, the definition was here, and I did read it. It's a storm with sustained winds um, of over 50 miles per hour that hit a, a swath over 250 miles long. That's what a derecho is, and that's just that's exactly what happened here, knocking out power lines and causing a loss of lives of three people. Here we are at Power Outage US. Let me get my picture up here. I'm sorry about that. I didn't know I wasn't here. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. And you can see here Pennsylvania and New Jersey experiencing major outages. Um, in fact, almost a half a million people still without power tonight at 11 p.m. 450,000 plus in Pennsylvania and New Jersey alone. 16,000 in California. Half a million across the U.S. Still without power as people riot and pandemics, bodies pile up. Tropical update. Tropical storm Cristobal makes landfall in Mexico, likely headed to the northern Gulf this weekend. Louisiana, heads up. We're going to have a full report tomorrow. Here's the current stats. There's the current location, longitude and latitude. Max winds at 60 miles per hour, pressure at 994 millibars. Right off the coast of Yucatan there. In the Campeche Sea, I believe, or whatever you call that. Some call it the Gulf. Moving south-southeast at 3, but it's supposed to hook around here and head straight north. Right towards, well, the southeast coast there. Now, according to the National Weather Service, we are a weather-ready nation ambassadors. Excessive heat lingers in the southwest. Severe thunderstorms Thursday, tropical storm Cristobal. Excessive heat will continue through Thursday over central California and parts of the southwest, including Las Vegas and Phoenix. Severe thunderstorms are forecast across parts of the northern plains and Midwest. Thursday, tropical storm Cristobal is forecast to reemerge over the southern Gulf, Mexico, Friday or Friday night and move north across the Gulf of Mexico through the weekend towards Louisiana. Heads up, 5.5 magnitude earthquake in Ridgecrest fell all the way to Hollywood. Now, this is an aftershock from the Ridgecrest 7.1 that was about a year ago. So, nothing to worry about there. 
except that it was very shallow and felt, well, all the way to Hollywood. Another large seismic event, 6.8 in Chile. Not as large as they're used to. Probably very little damage, if any. High temperatures set off major Greenland ice melt again. Total article coming out from Scientific American. An Arctic heat wave ushered in the start of the melt season two weeks earlier than average. Well, let's come check out the data. And if we come and look at June 3rd, there is massive amounts of ice building on the ice sheet. No ice loss today. Not at all. It's, it's almost embarrassing. Let's load the large graph. Today, five gigatons of ice built on Greenland today. Alone, a record total today. Five gigatons, record ice total. You can see the turn up here in that ice game. You're looking in the blue line is the 2019 2020 numbers, well within the 40 year mean. And, and so they're talking about this departure from the mean here as being a major melt off. They couldn't be lying more than the facts that are right in front of you. It's completely within normal range. And in fact, a major uptick in the last day has set five gigatons of ice in a single 24-hour period, a record, which we can see reflected on the map right here. Mass gain in dark blue of 36, whatever that is, millimeters per day. 36 millimeters per day in the dark blue. Who knew? Well, I just told you. Now the sun we have an exceptionally active zone here, and, and we have another plage up here. There's a large sunspot associated with this southern region that's turning around the limb, but this is no sunspots whatsoever, and we did a video on that the other day. Let's come over to Solarham and see what they have to say about the sunspot. Now, these are all cycle 25 spots, and with the activity we've been seeing here on the X-ray flux, it is more than likely that we are already in cycle 25. As a friend of the channel, Smash O Mash Daniel Nigro has purported for some time now. And let's come over and we're here at solarham.net. I'm clicking on the solar disk here, the HMI continuum, and you can see the size of this spot. We're going to come click over on the spot itself to get an enlargement of the intensity in the magnetogram. And there are, in fact, multiple sunspots here, or at least one, two, three, four. And we really can't determine the mixing as of yet. They're claiming it's alpha HSX, which has a very low probability of flaring. 10% C, M1%, X1%. But that's really not what we were seeing on that uh, live action photo. So we're going to be... Waiting to see how this progresses. There's, it's starting to get a, be a little bit more active, a couple of small air, A flares. But this is after we just came off of 36 hours ago, a larger B flare. So we're going to be watching this active region, part of cycle, solar cycle 25, as it progresses in the next seven days and turns Earth facing at that time. Now, how you can see Friday's penumbral lunar eclipse? Well, if you live in North America, You'll have to watch it on a video live somewhere else. Here is the map of visibility. All eclipse visible in the white zone here. And we're talking most of Australia, most of the tropics here in Southeast Asia, most of China, all of India, all of East Africa, and portions of Eastern uh, Russia and even Eastern Europe. Uh, eclipse at moonrise will be seen all throughout Europe and Western Africa. You may even be able to pick it up on Eastern South America, but nowhere in North America. So that's where you could pick up the penumbral lunar eclipse this Friday on June 5th. Hope you got something out of the video. We had a great time going out and recovering Fen's treasure. The only problem was it wasn't there. <laughs> and we will link you a video to our search I could barely stand up. My thighs are smoked. But the tip we got did not pan out. Thanks to all of our one-time donors, our new Patreons, and for all of you that have supported us through the years.
We love each and every one of you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance during a pandemic, planned riots, and the collapse of the empire. Be safe. We love you. That's Boone.